Seneca argues that life without a clear design becomes chaotic. Without rules, practices or standards to follow, we end up improvising, which often leads to problems. However, when we establish clear rules and standards, our decisions and daily routines become much simpler. In today's episode, I want to explore this idea further and share 12 stoic rules for living a better life. Number 1. Own the morning. Owning your morning is a key stoic rule for life, as taking charge of your day from the very beginning sets a positive tone for everything that follows. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, famously grapples with this concept. He describes waking up before dawn, feeling the chill, and not wanting to leave the warmth of his bed. He questions himself, is this what you were meant to do? Stay under the blankets and keep warm? Of course not. We have duties, obligations, and potential to fulfill. For a Stoic, getting up early is an essential practice, as each morning is a gift, an opportunity to seize the day with intention and purpose. Part of the Stoic practice of memento mori is to consider each day as an extra chance. If you went to bed thinking it might be your last, waking up feels like a bonus, instilling a sense of urgency and gratitude. This perspective drives you to make the most out of every morning, understanding that every new day is a precious opportunity. To truly own the morning, consider these practices. Wake up early. Rising early grants you a head start, allowing you to plan and set the tone for the rest of the day. The early hours are peaceful, with fewer distractions, providing an ideal time for quiet reflection and preparation. Avoid distractions. A common pitfall is immediately diving into emails or social media upon waking. Instead, dedicate the first hour of your day to activities that foster a positive and productive mindset. Practice mindfulness and intentionality. Spend time journaling to clear your mind and set your intentions. Reflect on your goals, priorities, and what you are grateful for. This grounding practice aligns your actions with your values. Engage in physical activity. Whether it's a walk, yoga, or a workout, physical activity boosts your energy levels, improves your mood, and primes your brain for focused work. Focus on important tasks. Tackle your most crucial tasks first. As Marcus Aurelius suggests, focus on what's in front of you. Prioritize tasks that require the most mental energy and creativity while your mind is fresh. Winning the morning sets a positive trajectory for the entire day. By accomplishing key tasks and nurturing your well-being early, you become more resilient to challenges that may arise later. Each productive morning compounds, leading to more effective and fulfilling days. Remember, Winning each day is fantastic because our life is made up of these individual days. Consistently owning your morning creates a ripple effect, transforming your days, weeks, and ultimately, your life. This practice of taking charge every morning aligns with the Stoic philosophy of living intentionally and purposefully. Number two, focus on what you control. One of the foundational principles of Stoic philosophy is to focus on what we can control. Epictetus emphasizes this as the philosopher's most basic task, discerning what is within our power and what is not. If we fail to distinguish between the two, we are destined to struggle. Our energy is finite, and if we squander it on things beyond our control, such as other people's actions, past events, or future uncertainties, we miss the opportunity to influence what we truly can. The Stoics teach us to understand the dichotomy of control, a concept that divides the world into what we can and cannot control. While our control is limited, we have absolute authority over our opinions, emotions, and actions. How we respond to situations is entirely up to us, this idea is succinctly captured in the serenity prayer. Having the courage to change what we can, the serenity to accept what we can't, 
and the wisdom to know the difference. So, what can we control? Our opinions. We have the power to interpret events and situations. By adopting a positive and constructive perspective, we can reduce stress and build resilience. This involves reframing challenges as opportunities for growth. Our emotions. While we can't always control our initial emotional reactions, we can manage how we handle them. Through mindfulness and self-awareness, we can choose responses that align with our values rather than reacting impulsively. Our actions. Our choices and behaviors are entirely within our control. We can decide to act with integrity, kindness and diligence, irrespective of external circumstances. Conversely, there are things we cannot control. Other people's actions. We cannot dictate how others behave, but we can control our response to their actions. This means not letting others' negativity or mistakes affect our emotional state. Past events. The past is immutable. Dwelling on past mistakes or regrets wastes valuable energy. Instead, we should learn from the past and focus on present actions to shape a better future. Future uncertainties. Worrying about the future only breeds anxiety. While we can plan and prepare, the future remains unpredictable. Embrace uncertainty and concentrate on what you can do now. To apply this rule in daily life, we should set clear boundaries. Recognize when you are becoming preoccupied with things outside your control. Set mental boundaries to keep your focus on what you can influence. Practice acceptance. Accepting what we cannot change is a powerful tool for reducing stress. Embrace the notion that some things are beyond your control and let go of the need to control everything. Cultivate inner peace. By focusing on what we can control, we cultivate inner peace and resilience. We become less reactive and more proactive, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Living by this rule means prioritizing what you can control and leaving the rest to others. Let others worry about their mistakes, judgments and anxieties. Your priority is to take charge of what you can do right here and now. By doing so, you conserve your energy for meaningful actions and maintain your inner tranquility, regardless of external chaos. Embracing this stoic wisdom transforms our approach to life's challenges. It empowers us to act wisely and maintain our composure, ensuring that we lead a life of purpose and serenity. By focusing on what we can control, we not only enhance our well-being, but also become a source of stability and strength for those around us. Number three, be present. Another important stoic rule for life is to stay present and avoid suffering from imagined troubles. Anxiety, worry and fear often arise when we focus on things beyond our control or events that haven't happened yet. Seneca wisely says, he who suffers before it is necessary suffers more than is necessary. This highlights that we endure more pain in our minds than in reality. It's unproductive to let our imagination run wild with worst-case scenarios, causing us to panic over things that might never happen. Stoics understand the value of presence. They consider possible challenges only to prepare a response plan, then shift their focus back to the present. This approach keeps them grounded and effective in the here and now. Why is staying present so crucial? Reduce anxiety. Dwelling on future uncertainties or past mistakes creates unnecessary anxiety. Staying present helps us focus on what is real and tangible, reducing the mental clutter that contributes to stress. Enhance productivity. Concentrating on the task at hand allows us to perform more efficiently and effectively. Multitasking and worrying about future outcomes dilute our attention and reduce our overall productivity. Improve relationships. Being present with others fosters deeper connections and better communication. 
It shows respect and attentiveness, enhancing our relationships with family, friends, and colleagues. To stay present, consider these practices. Mindfulness practices. Engage in mindfulness activities such as meditation, deep breathing, or yoga. These practices train your mind to stay focused on the present moment. Break tasks into smaller steps. Instead of feeling overwhelmed by a large project or future goal, break it down into manageable steps. Focus on completing one step at a time. Limit distractions. Create an environment that minimizes distractions. Turn off notifications. Designate specific times for checking emails and social media and prioritize your tasks. Reflect and recenter. Periodically take a moment to pause, reflect and recenter your thoughts. Ask yourself, what is within my control right now? What can I do at this moment? This helps you regain focus and clarity. Stoics are not naive optimists. They recognize that life is filled with challenges and uncertainties. However, they balance this understanding with a realistic approach. They acknowledge potential difficulties, prepare for them, and then release them from their immediate concern. This allows them to act with purpose and precision without being paralyzed by fear or worry. Adopting the practice of being present means constantly reminding yourself to return to the moment. It involves letting go of past regrets and future anxieties, focusing instead on the here and now. This doesn't mean ignoring reality or shirking responsibilities. Rather, it means dealing with life's challenges as they come, one step at a time. By being present, we align ourselves with the stoic wisdom of living fully in the moment. This presence empowers us to handle life's challenges more effectively and enjoy its pleasures more deeply. We become more resilient, focused and at peace, fostering a life of intentionality and purpose. Number four, do one thing every day. A crucial stoic principle is to focus on achieving one meaningful thing every day. Seneca, in his letters to his friend Lucilius, encourages this habit. He suggests that each day we should acquire something that strengthens us against poverty, death, or any other misfortune. This could be a quote, a story, an idea, or an anecdote. Seneca and Lucilius exchanged these insights in their letters, with Seneca often sharing something valuable and eagerly anticipating a response from Lucilius. The path to wisdom isn't about sudden epiphanies or big breakthroughs, it's a daily practice. By consistently focusing on small, incremental improvements, we build resilience and deepen our understanding of Stoic principles. This continuous process helps us navigate life's challenges with greater ease and clarity. To implement this practice, learn something new. Every day, seek out a new piece of wisdom. This could be a passage from a Stoic text, a meaningful quote, or a reflective essay. The goal is to expand your knowledge and perspective incrementally. Reflect and apply. After learning something new, take a moment to reflect on its relevance to your life. How can you apply this wisdom to your daily actions? Integrating new insights into your behavior is crucial for growth. Write it down. Keep a journal to document your daily learnings and reflections. Writing helps solidify your understanding and provides a record of your progress over time. Share and discuss. Engage in conversations with others who share an interest in Stoic philosophy. Sharing your insights and hearing others' perspectives can deepen your understanding and offer new angles on familiar ideas. Why does this practice matter? Builds resilience. By focusing on daily learnings, you gradually build a mental toolkit that can help you handle adversity. These small pieces of wisdom accumulate, making you more resilient over time. Encourages consistency. Committing to a daily practice fosters discipline and consistency. 
These are key virtues in Stoicism, helping you maintain focus and dedication in all areas of life. Cultivates patience. Understanding that wisdom is a gradual process teaches patience. This patience can extend to other areas of your life, helping you remain calm and composed in the face of challenges. Living by this rule means seeking out one Stoic teaching each day. This doesn't have to be a grand lesson. It can be as simple as a single insightful quote. The key is to engage with Stoic wisdom consistently and intentionally. By doing so, you create a habit of continuous learning and self-improvement. By consistently following this practice, you'll make steady progress on your path to wisdom. Remember, the journey to becoming a better version of yourself is not about sudden transformations, but about steady, daily efforts. Each small step you take builds upon the last, leading to significant growth over time. This is the essence of Stoic practice, small, deliberate actions that over time lead to profound change. Number five, do one good turn every day. A core Stoic principle emphasizes the importance of helping others every day, much like the Boy Scouts motto of do a good turn daily. Stoicism is not a philosophy of self-centeredness, Rather, it is a philosophy of virtue, justice, and doing the right thing. Living virtuously, according to the Stoics, means acting with kindness, generosity, and fairness, traits that are best demonstrated through our daily actions. Stoicism teaches that virtue is the highest good, and this virtue must manifest in our deeds, not just our thoughts. It's about being just and contributing positively to society. Justice, one of the Stoic cardinal virtues, calls for actions that benefit others. The practice of performing one good turn each day aligns with this virtue, helping us to consistently act in ways that are beneficial and constructive. To truly embody this principle, we must make a conscious effort to set a daily intention to do something kind helpful or generous. These actions, whether big or small, contribute to living virtuously. By deciding each day to perform a good deed, we cultivate a habit of kindness and generosity which strengthens our character and enhances the well-being of those around us. The beauty of this practice lies in its simplicity. A good turn can be as small as holding the door open for someone offering a genuine compliment, or helping a colleague with a task. These small acts of kindness, though seemingly insignificant, can have a profound impact on someone's day. In other instances, it might involve volunteering your time to help those in need, supporting a cause you believe in, or raising awareness about an issue close to your heart. Each of these actions, no matter their scale, contributes to the greater good and reflects the Stoic commitment to justice and virtue. Being present and listening to others is another powerful way to perform a good turn. Sometimes the most meaningful thing you can do for someone is to simply be there for them, offering a supportive ear and showing that you care. This act of presence, though it requires no material resources, is often invaluable and can deeply affect the lives of those around you. Seneca reminds us that every person we encounter presents an opportunity for kindness. Every interaction is a chance to do something good, to act with compassion and to make a positive impact. This approach not only builds stronger relationships, but also fosters a sense of community and mutual support. It encourages us to look beyond our own needs and consider how we can contribute to the happiness and well-being of others. By consistently performing good deeds, we also enhance our own well-being. Studies have shown that acts of kindness can increase our happiness and sense of fulfillment. It's a win-win situation where both the giver and the recipient benefit. Furthermore, when we act kindly, we often inspire others to do the same, creating a ripple effect that spreads positivity and goodwill 
far beyond our immediate actions. Living by this rule means making a daily commitment to do the right thing in every situation. It's about seeking out opportunities to help, to be kind, and to make a difference, no matter how small. This conscious effort to perform a good turn each day aligns our actions with stoic principles and contributes to a better world. By adopting the practice of doing one good turn every day, we embody the stoic ideal of living a virtuous life. This daily commitment to kindness and justice not only improves the lives of those around us, but also enriches our own lives. Every person we meet is an opportunity for kindness, and every day is a chance to make a positive impact. Through consistent, intentional acts of goodness, we contribute to a life of meaning, virtue and fulfillment. Number six, is this essential? A powerful stoic rule can be distilled into a simple yet profound question. Is this essential? Marcus Aurelius, one of the great Stoic philosophers, urged us to constantly ask this question. He observed that much of what we do, say, and think is not essential. By identifying and eliminating these unnecessary actions, we free ourselves to focus on what truly matters, allowing us to do those things better and with greater clarity. The practice of essentialism, as embraced by the Stoics, is about making deliberate choices to prioritize the significant over the trivial. It calls for a disciplined approach to life, where every action and commitment is scrutinized through the lens of necessity. This principle encourages us to strip away the superfluous, to simplify our actions and to focus on what is truly important. In our daily lives, we are often overwhelmed by a multitude of tasks, obligations and distractions. Essentialism prompts us to pause and ask whether each of these is truly necessary. Are we doing something simply because it's expected of us, or out of habit, or is it genuinely important? By letting go of what doesn't matter, we declutter our lives, making space for what is truly significant. This approach extends to how we manage our commitments. Before agreeing to take on new responsibilities, it's important to evaluate their importance. Is this task or commitment essential to our goals or well-being? If not, it's perfectly acceptable to decline. The power of saying no cannot be overstated. It protects our time, energy and focus ensuring that we dedicate ourselves to what truly matters. The Stoics understood that our time and tranquility are precious. Marcus Aurelius advised that to achieve more time and peace, we must eliminate the non-essential and focus solely on what is truly important. This wisdom is particularly poignant coming from a man like Marcus, who, as Emperor of Rome, faced endless demands on his time. His ability to focus on the essential allowed him to navigate his responsibilities with a sense of calm and purpose. Practicing essentialism also involves a daily reflection on our actions. At the end of each day, we can ask ourselves whether the tasks we performed were essential. This reflection helps us to identify patterns and areas where we can simplify our lives further. By setting clear priorities and aligning our actions with them, we ensure that our efforts are directed toward what truly matters. Minimizing distractions is another crucial aspect of this practice. We can create environments that support our focus by reducing unnecessary notifications, avoiding clutter and limiting interruptions. This enables us to concentrate fully on the tasks that contribute most to our goals and well-being. Additionally, embracing the concept of quality over quantity, doing fewer things well rather than many things poorly, ensures that our actions are effective and meaningful. By consistently asking ourselves, is this essential? We align our lives with the stoic principle of living intentionally and purposefully. This practice helps us cut through the noise, eliminate the trivial and focus on what truly matters. 
The result is a life that is not only more fulfilling, but also more tranquil and balanced. Embracing the Stoic principle of essentialism transforms our approach to life. It empowers us to make conscious choices, to prioritize what is truly important, and to discard what is unnecessary. In doing so, we create space for more meaningful experiences, deeper relationships, and greater accomplishments. Remember, every moment spent on the non-essential is a moment taken away from what truly matters. Choose wisely and let your life be defined by what is essential. Number seven, speak with the dead. A key stoic principle encourages us to speak with the dead. This idea might seem puzzling at first, but it is rooted in a profound practice of seeking wisdom through the works of great thinkers who have come before us. When Zeno, the founder of Stoicism, was young, he visited the oracle at Delphi who told him he would gain wisdom by conversing with the dead. Zeno did not understand this until years later, when he found himself in a bookstore after losing everything. There he heard someone reading a passage from Socrates and realized that the oracle's prophecy meant gaining wisdom by engaging with the writings of past philosophers. Through reading, we have conversations with the dead, tapping into the timeless wisdom they left behind. This practice of speaking with the dead lies at the heart of philosophy and is why the Western canon is often referred to as the Great Conversation. The Stoics, particularly Seneca, emphasized the importance of studying the great texts daily. This habit is not about keeping up with current trends or consuming superficial content, but rather about engaging deeply with the ideas that have shaped human thought over centuries. By immersing ourselves in the works of great philosophers, historians, poets and thinkers, we deepen our understanding of life, ethics and the human condition. Reading the classics offers us timeless wisdom. The thoughts and insights of these historical figures remain relevant today, offering us guidance on how to navigate the complexities of life. These works help us understand human nature, morality, and the challenges that transcend time. Engaging with the ideas of Socrates, Plato, Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and others broadens our perspective, allowing us to see the world through different lenses and appreciate diverse viewpoints. Moreover, Reading these challenging texts stimulates intellectual growth. It sharpens our critical thinking skills, enhances our ability to reason, and encourages us to reflect deeply on the principles we live by. This intellectual engagement is not just about gaining knowledge, but about cultivating wisdom, understanding how to apply what we learn to live a more virtuous and meaningful life. To incorporate this practice into our daily lives, it's important to set aside dedicated time for reading. Whether it's in the morning, during lunch or before bed, consistency is key. Creating a distraction-free environment allows us to fully immerse ourselves in the material, ensuring that we absorb and reflect on what we read. The choice of texts is also crucial. Focusing on works that have stood the test of time, philosophical texts, classic literature, historical documents, and biographies of influential figures, provides us with the depth of knowledge necessary for true growth. After reading, reflecting on the material is essential. Taking time to journal our thoughts or discussing the ideas with others can solidify our understanding and offer new insights. Engaging in discussions, whether with a friend or a study group, helps us explore different interpretations and deepen our comprehension of the material. Seneca beautifully expressed the value of historical conversations when he said that books allow us to incorporate the wisdom of past ages into our own lives. By engaging with these texts, we place ourselves in the company of Socrates, Zeno, Seneca, Lincoln or Shakespeare, drawing on their experiences and insights to guide our present actions. These conversations with the dead enrich our lives, 
offering us a sense of continuity with the past and a deeper understanding of the challenges we face today. By making this practice a fundamental part of our daily routine, we align with the Stoic commitment to lifelong learning and self-improvement. It fosters a deeper connection with the accumulated knowledge and experiences of those who have come before us, helping us to navigate our own lives with greater wisdom and clarity. By speaking with the dead through their writings, we join a great conversation that spans centuries. This practice not only enhances our wisdom, but also grounds us in a tradition of thoughtful inquiry and ethical living. The wisdom of the past is a treasure trove waiting to be explored, and by making it a daily habit, we allow the voices of the great thinkers to guide and inspire our journey through life. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to the ongoing dialogue that shapes human understanding and progress. Number 8. Be tough on yourself, understanding to others. A fundamental Stoic rule is to be strict with ourselves, but lenient with others. This principle may seem counterintuitive at first, given the Stoic emphasis on discipline and virtue. However, it reflects a profound understanding of human nature and the limits of our control. Marcus Aurelius captured this wisdom succinctly. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. The Stoics recognized that while we can set and enforce high standards for our own behavior, we cannot impose the same on others. Our power lies in self-discipline, not in controlling or judging the actions of those around us. This Stoic principle underscores the importance of self-discipline as a path to personal growth. By holding ourselves to high standards, we continually push ourselves to improve, striving to become the best versions of ourselves. This self-discipline helps us develop control over our impulses and actions, enabling us to lead a life of virtue and balance. It also sets a positive example for others to follow, as our actions can inspire and motivate those around us. On the other hand, the Stoics teach us to be understanding and compassionate toward others. Every person has their own struggles, challenges and limitations. People make mistakes, and not everyone has had the same opportunities to learn and grow. Being judgmental or harsh toward others is not only unproductive but also contrary to the Stoic ideal of justice, which calls for fairness and empathy. Marcus Aurelius, despite the immense pressures and frustrations of his position as emperor, understood the importance of tolerance. He knew that it was better to work with people, to help them improve, rather than to condemn or exclude them for their shortcomings. The Stoics encourage us to recognize that we all share in the human condition with its inherent imperfections. This understanding fosters compassion, allowing us to build stronger, more harmonious relationships. By practicing empathy and considering the circumstances and motivations of others, we reduce conflict and promote a more peaceful and cooperative environment. This approach not only benefits those around us, but also contributes to our own inner peace, as we are less likely to be disturbed by the actions of others. Living by this principle involves a balance between maintaining high standards for ourselves and showing kindness and leniency toward others. We can begin by regularly reflecting on our actions and decisions, holding ourselves accountable and identifying areas for improvement. This self-reflection is crucial for personal development, helping us set clear, achievable goals that guide our growth. When dealing with others, we should practice empathy, striving to understand their perspectives and the reasons behind their actions. Instead of rushing to judgment or criticism, we can offer support and guidance, helping others learn from their mistakes and grow, just as we seek to do ourselves. However, it is also important to maintain healthy boundaries. Being understanding does not mean enabling harmful behavior or compromising our own values. We must ensure that our leniency is balanced with the need to protect our integrity and well-being. In essence, 
This Stoic rule teaches us to apply different standards to ourselves and others. We are called to be tough on ourselves, to demand continuous improvement and to hold fast to our principles. At the same time, we are encouraged to be understanding, compassionate and forgiving toward others, recognizing their humanity and the complexities of their lives. Adopting the Stoic principle of being tough on yourself, but understanding towards others fosters a balanced and compassionate life. It encourages self-discipline and continuous improvement while promoting empathy and kindness in our interactions. This balance is essential not only for personal growth, but also for nurturing strong, positive relationships. By maintaining high standards for ourselves while being forgiving of others' imperfections, we create a harmonious and supportive environment, both within ourselves and in our communities. This approach allows us to navigate the complexities of life with grace and wisdom, staying true to our values while cultivating a spirit of understanding and cooperation. Number 9. Make Beautiful Choices A guiding Stoic principle is to make beautiful choices. Epictetus once said, If you want to be beautiful, make beautiful choices. This wisdom, passed down from his teacher Musonius Rufus, highlights a fundamental truth. While seeking pleasure may bring fleeting satisfaction, it often leads to lasting shame. Conversely, choosing the path of virtue and self-discipline might be difficult, but the sense of pride and fulfillment it brings endures. Every day we are faced with choices. The essence of living a virtuous life lies in making these choices wisely consistently opting for what is right and meaningful over what is easy and superficial. The story of Hercules offers a powerful illustration of this principle. At a crucial crossroads, Hercules had to choose between two paths, one leading to virtue and the other to vice. The path of virtue was demanding and required great effort, while the path of vice offered ease and pleasure. Hercules chose the difficult path which ultimately forged him into the legendary hero he became. This story serves as a reminder that the greatness and beauty of our lives are shaped by the choices we make, particularly those that require courage and integrity. Making beautiful choices is not just about grand, life-altering decisions. It is reflected in the small, everyday actions that collectively define our character. These choices rooted in virtue and self-discipline, lead to lasting fulfillment. Unlike the temporary pleasure derived from indulgence, the pride and satisfaction that come from making virtuous choices linger and strengthen our resolve to continue on the path of righteousness. By consistently choosing virtue over vice, we foster personal growth. Each decision to act with integrity kindness and courage builds our character and enhances our resilience. Over time, these choices shape us into individuals who embody inner beauty, those who radiate kindness, strength and integrity. This inner beauty is far more enduring and meaningful than any external appearance as it reflects the true essence of who we are. In our daily lives, beautiful choices manifest in various ways. When faced with the temptation to hit the snooze button or skip a workout, we can choose the path of self-discipline, knowing that each small act of effort contributes to our overall well-being. In our interactions with others, choosing kindness, understanding and forgiveness over anger or resentment strengthens our relationships and creates a positive impact on those around us. These choices, though challenging at times, lead to a life of greater fulfillment and harmony. Embracing self-discipline in our daily routines is another way to make beautiful choices, whether it's committing to a healthy lifestyle, adhering to an exercise regimen, or staying focused on our personal goals, these disciplined actions lay the foundation for a life of strength and resilience. They help us prioritize what truly matters and stay aligned with our values, even when faced with temptations that offer short-term gratification. 
The essence of making beautiful choices also involves prioritizing virtue over fleeting pleasures. This means choosing honesty when deceit might seem easier, courage when fear is overwhelming, and diligence when laziness beckons. These decisions, while often difficult, lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful life, as they are grounded in principles that define our true character. Living by this Stoic rule means recognizing that every choice, no matter how small, contributes to the person we are becoming. By prioritizing virtue, kindness and self-discipline, we cultivate an inner beauty that radiates outward, influencing our actions and the way we interact with the world. Adopting the Stoic principle of making beautiful choices transforms our lives. It encourages us to seek lasting fulfillment over fleeting pleasures, to prioritize personal growth over comfort, and to cultivate inner beauty over superficiality. Every choice we make is an opportunity to create beauty in our lives and the lives of those around us. By consistently choosing virtue, we not only enhance our own lives, but also inspire and uplift others. Each decision, made with intention and integrity, contributes to a life that is truly beautiful in the deepest sense. Remember, the path to a meaningful and fulfilling life is paved with beautiful choices. Choose wisely. Number 10. Listen more than you speak. A fundamental Stoic rule is to listen more than you speak. Zeno famously pointed out that we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. This wisdom underscores the importance of restraint in speech and the value of listening. The Stoics often advise that it's better to trip with your feet than with your tongue, highlighting the potential pitfalls of careless words. Before speaking, we should ask ourselves if what we are about to say is better left unsaid. The discipline to stay quiet, to listen, is an incredibly valuable practice. Listening is more than just an act. It is a skill that fosters deeper understanding and empathy. When we listen more and speak less, we open ourselves up to the wisdom and perspectives of others, enriching our own understanding of the world. This practice not only builds stronger relationships, but also allows us to learn from the experiences and insights of those around us. An ancient Spartan story perfectly captures the essence of this principle. At a dinner, everyone was talking except one Spartan. Someone eventually asked him, why haven't you spoken? Are you stupid? The Spartan replied, if I was stupid, I wouldn't have been able to stay quiet. This response encapsulates the Stoic belief that there is wisdom in silence and that true understanding often comes from listening rather than speaking. By listening attentively, we gain valuable knowledge that can guide us in making informed decisions and understanding the complexities of the world. This act of listening also demonstrates respect and consideration for others, strengthening relationships by fostering trust and mutual understanding. Moreover, by pausing to reflect before we speak, we avoid the regret that often accompanies hasty or thoughtless words. The power of silence is further emphasized in one of the 48 laws of power, which advises us to always say less than necessary. By setting aside our ego, resisting the urge to prove our intelligence, and becoming comfortable with silence, we allow ourselves to truly listen and absorb the knowledge being offered. Constantly talking prevents us from hearing these valuable lessons, ultimately hindering our personal growth. To truly embody this stoic principle, we must cultivate the habit of being present in our conversations. This means focusing entirely on the person speaking, without planning our response or getting distracted by our own thoughts. Asking thoughtful questions instead of immediately offering our opinion encourages deeper dialogue and shows our genuine engagement. Silence should be embraced rather than feared, as it allows for reflection and leads to more meaningful exchanges. In practicing this principle, a Stoic remains humble, open and aware, acknowledging that we do not have all the answers. By listening more than we speak, 
we create space for growth and adaptation, drawing on the collective wisdom of those around us. This practice not only enriches our own lives, but also enhances the lives of those with whom we interact, fostering a more thoughtful, respectful, and connected world. Number 11. Turn obstacles upside down. A crucial Stoic principle is the importance of finding the right mentors. The Stoics understood that wisdom is not gained in isolation, but through learning from others who have walked the path before us. Seneca famously advised, choose someone whose way of life as well as words and whose very face have won your approval. Have them always before your eyes and live as if they were watching you. This guidance underscores the value of mentorship, of looking to those who embody the virtues and wisdom we aspire to cultivate in ourselves. Mentorship in the Stoic tradition goes beyond mere advice or instruction. It is about finding someone whose life is a living example of the principles you want to adopt. This person doesn't necessarily have to be a contemporary figure. They could be a historical figure, a philosopher, or even a character from literature whose life and decisions offer valuable lessons. The idea is to learn from their successes and failures, to understand how they navigated challenges, and to apply those lessons to your own life. Choosing the right mentors is about more than just finding someone who is successful or accomplished. It's about finding someone whose values align with yours someone who exemplifies the virtues you wish to develop, whether it's wisdom, courage, justice, or temperance. This alignment ensures that the guidance you receive is not only practical, but also deeply resonant with your own goals and aspirations. The Stoics also believed in the power of emulation. By closely observing and imitating the actions of our mentors, we begin to internalize their virtues. This process of emulation helps us to embody the qualities we admire in others, gradually making them our own. It's not about becoming a carbon copy of your mentor, but about integrating their strengths into your own unique personality and approach to life. However, mentorship is not just about following, it's also about critical engagement. The Stoics emphasized the importance of questioning and reflecting on the lessons from our mentors, this means not accepting everything at face value, but thinking deeply about how the advice applies to your specific circumstances. By doing so, you develop a more nuanced understanding and make informed decisions that are truly your own. Finding the right mentors can also be a form of speaking with the dead, as discussed in the previous Stoic rule. By reading the works of great philosophers, leaders and thinkers, you can engage in a dialogue with some of the greatest minds in history. Their writings offer timeless insights and guidance, allowing you to learn from their experiences and apply their wisdom to your own life. In practice, this might mean seeking out a mentor who exemplifies the virtues you wish to cultivate. It might mean studying the lives of historical figures who faced similar challenges to your own, or reading deeply into the works of philosophers who have wrestled with the same ethical dilemmas you face. The key is to be proactive in seeking out these sources of wisdom and to be diligent in applying their lessons to your life. The relationship with a mentor is also a two-way street. While you learn from their experiences, your engagement and curiosity can offer them new perspectives. This dynamic interaction is what makes mentorship so powerful. It's a continuous exchange of ideas where both mentor and mentee grow and evolve together. Embracing the stoic principle of finding the right mentors is a powerful way to accelerate your personal growth and deepen your understanding of life. By aligning yourself with those who embody the virtues you aspire to, you create a pathway to wisdom that is guided by experience and enriched by reflection. Whether your mentors are living figures, historical icons, or philosophical giants, their influence helps shape your journey, offering direction and insight as you navigate the complexities of life. Remember, the right mentors don't just teach you what to do, 
they inspire you to become the best version of yourself. Number 12. Remember, you're dying every day. The final Stoic rule centers on the profound practice of gratitude. The Stoics believed that cultivating a mindset of gratitude is essential to living a fulfilled and balanced life. Seneca wrote extensively on the importance of appreciating what we have rather than focusing on what we lack. He observed that it's not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, who is poor. This wisdom encourages us to shift our focus from the endless pursuit of more to the appreciation of what is already present in our lives. Gratitude, in the Stoic tradition, is more than just a fleeting feeling. It is a deliberate practice that shapes our worldview. By regularly reflecting on the blessings in our lives, whether they be material comforts, relationships, or even the challenges that help us grow, we cultivate a sense of contentment and inner peace. This practice of gratitude grounds us, reminding us that happiness is not found in the accumulation of external goods, but in the appreciation of what we already possess. The Stoics also understood that gratitude is closely linked to the acceptance of life's circumstances. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the idea that everything that happens, good or bad, is an opportunity to practice virtue. By viewing life through this lens, we can find something to be grateful for in every situation, even in adversity. This perspective not only helps us endure difficult times, but also transforms our challenges into opportunities for growth and learning. Gratitude, therefore, is not about ignoring life's difficulties or pretending that everything is perfect. It's about recognizing the full spectrum of our experiences, both positive and negative, and understanding how each one contributes to our personal development. By appreciating the lessons learned from hardships and the joy derived from simple pleasures, we cultivate a more resilient and positive outlook on life. Practicing gratitude can take many forms. It might involve taking a few moments each day to reflect on the things you are thankful for, whether through journaling or silent contemplation. This daily practice helps reinforce a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity, focusing your attention on what you have rather than what you lack. Over time, this shift in focus can lead to greater satisfaction and well-being. Gratitude also extends to the people in our lives. The Stoics emphasized the importance of expressing appreciation to those who contribute to our well-being, whether through their support, kindness, or companionship. Acknowledging the positive impact others have on our lives not only strengthens our relationships, but also deepens our own sense of gratitude. Another aspect of Stoic gratitude involves recognizing and being thankful for the present moment. The Stoics taught that life is fleeting and that each day is a gift. By embracing the present and appreciating the here and now, we cultivate a sense of urgency to live fully and authentically. This awareness of life's impermanence makes each moment more precious and encourages us to make the most of our time. In essence, practicing gratitude helps us live in alignment with the Stoic ideals of acceptance, resilience and virtue. It reminds us that no matter the circumstances, there is always something to be thankful for, and this mindset fosters a deeper sense of peace and fulfillment. Incorporating the Stoic practice of gratitude into your daily life has the power to transform your perspective and enrich your experiences. By focusing on the abundance already present in your life, you cultivate contentment and inner peace, reducing the desire for more and appreciating what you have. This shift in mindset helps you navigate life's ups and downs with greater resilience and joy. Gratitude, as the Stoics teach, is not just a reaction to good fortune, but a deliberate practice that enhances your overall well-being and connects you more deeply to the world around you. By making gratitude a daily habit, you align yourself with the Stoic philosophy of living a virtuous, intentional 
and fulfilling life. As we wrap up these 12 lessons, it's clear that Stoicism offers practical advice for living a good life. Each rule, from owning your morning to practicing gratitude, helps us build inner strength and deal with life's challenges. Stoicism teaches us that real wisdom comes not from avoiding difficulties, but from facing them with courage and clear thinking. By applying these principles in our daily lives, we can better handle the ups and downs of life. Stoicism isn't about being perfect. It's about making progress. Trying each day to live a little better, make smarter choices, and treat ourselves and others with kindness. These lessons remind us that a stoic life is one lived with purpose. It's about being aware of our actions, our thoughts, and our relationships. It's about finding wisdom not just in books, but in the small, everyday moments. By listening more, being tough on ourselves, but kind to others, and practicing gratitude, we create a life that's both meaningful and fulfilling. The journey to becoming more stoic is ongoing. It's about learning and growing every day, using these principles as a guide. The true value of Stoicism isn't in big achievements, but in the small, consistent actions that show our commitment to living a good life. As you continue on this path, remember that Stoicism is more than just ideas to think about. It's a way to live. Let these lessons guide you to face life's challenges with courage, treat others with kindness, and live each day with purpose and integrity.